In this video we're going to take a quick look at contexts within Fusion PBX and what we can use them for. Now contexts are just really logical groupings of extensions and when we use them we can think of them as kind of a jail. If we put extensions and dial plan things into a context only the things within that context can be executed by each component of that context. The best way is to show you and you'll understand. So at the moment we've got these two extensions registered 200 and 201 and they're in the 192.168.1.188 domain and that will also be the, the context that they're in as you can see here. So say we want to make just 200 and 201 part of a context that we'll call it internal. So we only want these to be able to dial internally or whatever. We, we can name it whatever we like, but for the, for the purposes of this exercise, we'll just put here internal at, and this will give us our logical grouping. Now, if I save that, and then go back and do the same with 201. We'll save that again. And now I will try and dial between 200 and 201. Now you would expect this call would fail because we've got no dial plan for them. And it does. But sometimes you will need to flush memcache first so we've now got that 200 and 201 in the internal at 192.168.1.188 context but there is no dial plan for it hence like we cannot dial between extensions if we dial star 97 for voicemail the same and star 9664 these are just the the three that I'll bring back into play. So what we need to do now is go into dial plan and dial plan manager. Now there are some of these that you may want to copy into your context anyway, um, <clears throat> like variables, call direction, etc. But for the purpose of the exercise, I'm just going to put in what I need to, <clears throat> and I, you can take it from there, develop it the way you want. So I'm going to copy local extension here so they can dial between extensions. So we'll go into that and copy it. Now, I know that it depend, depends upon the user exists and will fail if we just copy that in. I'll show you anyway. We'll copy it in. Now, so I'll copy that. And now down here we have a copy. So... If we edit that and we now make this internal at you may think that at this point now we'll be able to dial between the two. And we won't. And the reason we won't is because of what I just showed you down here um, that it depends upon this user exists here which is part of the dial plan up the top here and we haven't got one in this context for it so we'll, we'll quickly copy that in so we'll copy that okay and then go in here and we'll just make that internal app. now hopefully we'll be able to dial between the extensions because we've also got a user exist now as well uh, yep that's up there user exists and we have our uh, local extension so let's try down 201 and look at it's, it's all ringing there right so let's go for voicemail then so we can't dial voicemail still So let's go for our star 97, which is voicemail. There it is. 
and again we'll just copy that in okay and then go back to it and change the context to internal that and save so let's now try our star 97 please enter your password followed by pound and now we've got voicemail working and now back to the dial ply manager we'll just bring in music on hold which is star 919 there hold music <clears throat> uh, that looks like we should be okay let's try that copy that okay hold music copy and make it internal that. and then save Hold. So now we've got music on hold. So now, as you can see, you, you're getting the idea here of where we can go with this. So for each sort of jail, if you want to call it, or context, you just create the relevant dial plan entries then add the extension to the dial plan. That was a brief video on using uh, context uh, and all it's meant to do is give you a starting ground really to develop your own. Uh, it can get much more complex than that as I'm sure you can see. Anyway, thanks for watching.